Have you ever wondered how an item goes from concept to completion? How prototyping, product and package design, or even prop making works? Or maybe you're curious about the amazing ability to create and replicate items in your home, office, lab, or workshop using technology referred to as 3D printing. GCM 750 3D printing might just be the course you're looking for. With no prerequisite courses required to enroll, students entering GCM 750 don't need to have any prior experience with 3D printing or 3D modeling. This makes the course ideal for those that are interested in design and 3D printing in general as we start with a blank slate and build skills and knowledge throughout the semester as we go. One of the first tools that we use is a web-based 3D design tool called Tinkercad, which you can check out at tinkercad.com. This introductory tool is exceptionally user-friendly and intuitive and is a great introduction to working in 3D design. It's free to access. You can even play around with it prior to starting the course if you like. Once we've mastered the basics of 3D modeling in Tinkercad and have become more comfortable with 3D in general, we move up to more professional software available through the university. Throughout the course, we access different makerspaces, creative labs, and workshops around campus to output your creations and bring your designs to life. We cover several, several different types of 3D printing in the course. We start off with FDM, Fused Deposition Modeling or filament-based printing. This is the most commonly seen type of 3D printing. If you had a 3D printer at your high school or maybe your local library, chances are it was a filament-based device. But we go beyond that as well to learn about stereolithography, a type of 3D printing that uses liquid resin to produce exceptionally high-resolution prints. And selective laser sintering, where a laser is used to sinter or fuse outer nylon into rugged parts and intricate shapes. We're lucky on campus to have access to all of these types of 3D printing outputs, and some more, which you might choose to incorporate to your final project of the course. 3D scanning is also covered with a project in which you create a digital twin of a real-life object, producing a file that could be replicated on a 3D printer or even used as an asset in a digital environment like a video game or a VR application. Now, in a field that changes as rapidly as 3D printing, there's always new things being added to the course. In the fall semester of 2023, we teamed up with the Digital Media Experience Lab on campus to provide a skill badge in 3D printing to those that met the requirements in the course. Badges like that can be displayed on your LinkedIn profile or placed in your resume to show specific, real skills that you've acquired. We also had the opportunity to partner up with TMU's neighbors at Little Canada, one of the major tourist destinations downtown, that features miniaturized displays of famous Canadian landmarks and neighborhoods. Students in the course had an opportunity to design items, objects, and figures that Little Canada is hoping to feature in their future exhibits. At the time of this recording, a number of student projects have already been printed, painted, and will be included in a new Little Canada exhibit that's going to be revealed later in 2024. Taking your ideas from concept through to creation is one of the best aspects of this course. It's a unique opportunity to explore a wide variety of tools, technologies, and techniques that you may not have access to anywhere else. So whether you're considering pursuing 3D printing and modeling as part of your career, or just as a hobby or personal interest, there's something for everyone in the course. Hope to see you in class.